Okay, let's add another button. Here you can see that I have a column in my Google Sheet for category. And each row, each item on the menu has been given a category name of appetizer or main for main course. If a user triggers an intent to order pizza, I may want to make other main courses discoverable in my conversation. A dialogue flow event is what I can use to trigger an intent when users click a button. An event is an alternative way of triggering an intent, and so I don't need to add training phrases for the intent to get triggered. I'm gonna create a label for this second button. Uh, let's call it Chef Recommends. That's going to be my call to action to discover more items on the menu. I'm also going to drag the corner of the cell to all rows so I can quickly add this button for every item on the menu. I'll need to trigger another dialog flow intent though so I can then search the Google Sheet and generate a gallery with all items that match just the category. I can input a dialog flow event name in the Google Sheet and I'll just call my event main course. I'll also wanna drag that down so it applies to all buttons in the gallery. I'll need to create an intent though, so I can add that query statement so I can generate a search that matches a category and just shows all of the main courses. So let's create a new intent. I'm gonna call my intent main courses and in the event field of the dialogue flow intent, I'll just add the event name that I added in the Google Sheets that was main course. So now I'm gonna use the query builder to generate my query statement. I'm gonna search from column D and I'm going to do contains and we're gonna be looking for text. So I'll select the text. And if you remember from the Google Sheet in our column category, we're looking for main. So you can just copy that and I will paste that in and here is the generate button. So I can click that and it will generate my query statement. And I can use uh, the query testing environment here, uh, just putting in the link to the Google Sheet and the Google Sheet name, that would be the tab at the bottom, and then I can test the query. But I'm just gonna click this icon here. I'm gonna copy it to my clipboard. I'm gonna go back to the intent now and I just need to add query and then paste in the statement as the value. Okay, now we don't have any training phrases. We have an event, we have a query as a parameter name and we have the query statement as the value. Now the one thing we'll want to do is if we scroll down to the bottom is we'll want to use dialog flow fulfillment. So all we need to do is check this and we've enabled a webhook call for this intent. So dialogue flow, when this intent is triggered, is going to ignore any of the responses that you have here and it's just going to make an external request to the Google Sheet using the data that we have here. And fulfillment has some settings which is stored here. Now, those settings will include the link to the Google Sheet uh, and, and uh, as well as some other parameters that you can define. You don't need to use any code. Uh, you just plug in some very simple bot sheet settings. So now we have our intent set up and we've enabled fulfillment here and we just need to click save so we can save our intent. Let's check it out. I wanna order pizza. You can see I have a gallery with two buttons. If I click the first button, I'll be taken to a web page so I can then order the pizza. But if I click the second button, I'm gonna trigger that dialog flow intent I just set up with the dialog flow event, and that will generate a query of just the main courses.